Hi, Hi guys. guys. We're still in Perth. However, this is sadly our last day in Australia. I've yeah. had really fun here. Have you had fun? I had an amazing time, guys. Today, I'm going to do something very Australian. I'm going to learn how to play the didgeridoo. Ooh. Exciting, right? Yes, very and exciting. Afterwards, we're going to meet up and have a nice little Australian treat together. I'm looking forward to that. Okay guys, so we're here at the music school where I'm going to learn how to play the didgeridoo. I'm a little bit nervous, you know, I have a musical background, I play the guitar quite a lot, and I used to play the saxophone, so hopefully that's going to help me a little bit with the didgeridoo. Let's see. Hi, is this yeah, the hey, mate. room? Niall, Liam, how are you going? Nice to meet you. So you're here to learn some didgeridoo? I am indeed. Alright, what do you know about the instrument so far? Not too much, honestly. I know it's very typical for Australia. It's played by the indigenous population and... Yeah, I don't know the way it sounds, obviously, but... Sure. That's pretty much it. Yeah. It is a traditional instrument of sacred rituals, that kind of thing. Not every tribe in Australia uses it. It's mainly Northern Territory, Northern Queensland kind of thing. It's only recently been introduced to Western Australia. So this is a traditional didgeridoo. You can see, obviously, it's painted, it's made of wood. It's the only naturally occurring instrument in the world. Because they mostly come from eucalyptus trees, they have a very soft core. The termites like to eat the soft core of the wood, so they all hollow it out on their own. Obviously, they're not doing it in a perfect cylinder. They're going to just sort of go wherever the, the tastiest part of the wood is. So every wooden one is going to sound just a little bit different because you can't guarantee what it's going to be like. Right. So the way it works, it's all in the lip shape. Mm -hmm. So if you go... If you make that kind of noise, mm -hmm. wow. that's where the sound comes from. And then we do other things like if I sing a note at the same time, yeah. so if I go... That sounds really cool. Yeah, that's the reason I picked the wooden one. It just has a much deeper right. sort of resonant sound. You can hear the plastic ones kind of sound like plastic. Yeah, it's really like here that it's thinner, you know? Yeah. If you played the saxophone before, you might be a bit of an advantage because you've got some sort of breath control and that kind yeah, of Yeah, that was many years ago. <laughs> so I don't know how good <laughs> I am now, but anyway. Yeah. Let's see. start off with then is just some lip exercises. So if you do what's called the Mona Lisa smile, you just have that kind of shape, okay. just tight in the corners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we want to mostly move the top lip. Mostly the top lip. That kind of thing. Give that a go. <laughs> that so, even sounded bad, sorry. <laughs> 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 My goodness, this is going to go well. Yeah. <laughs> That's it though, yeah. <laughs> See if we can go the other way. <laughs> so yeah, might uh, get you to have a go. Yeah. Probably not gonna make a sound straight away. All right, let's go. Hey, you got a close that? Yeah, it's really good for yep. the first try. Like. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's quite difficult, honestly, I, I think. I think I overestimated. overestimates. Ugh, I can't speak. <laughs> You'll start to find so that as well. I'm so exhausted. After buzzing your lips <laughs> yeah. for a long time, it lips starts like... to get a bit difficult to <laughs> speak. Yeah. Now I'm like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was decent, it for a second there. Decent, yeah. decent. <laughs> That was, oh, that was a lot better. Solid four seconds or what, five seconds. What might maybe. help? Just try a bit more of a I the heart, at the, the start, yeah. a bit of an explosion sort of thing. All right. Yeah. Hey, that, that was, was like a proper good. note. That yeah. sounded really good. That yeah, good I'm, quite, I'm quite pleased with that actually. Cool. Pretty impressed that you actually even got a sound. <laughs> oh wow, great. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough for me. Yeah. Well done, mate. Thank you so Enjoy much. Enjoy the rest of your time in Australia. Thank you so yeah. much. All right, see you around. Yep. It was really good. It was uh, quite challenging, actually. I found that I was like losing a lot of air from my lungs. 
very quickly, so I oh, could only gosh. hold a note for a few seconds, but then as the time went on, I got better and the te lip technique is quite difficult and like there's a lot of things you need to keep in mind. Was there like a special song you were trying to play? No, or? I was just, honestly, I was just trying to get a sound out. Of the <laughs> thing, like. Do you think you would like to take that to the next level? Would you like to learn more? Um, I mean, it would be nice to try it, try it some more times, but I don't think you'll see me on any didgeridoo band. <laughs> no, no <unfortunately>. okay. <laughs> well, you tried it at least. Proud of you, Liam. Thank Look you. what I got for you. I promise you a treat and here it yeah. is. This is Pavlova. This looks delicious. It's an important part of Australian culture. In 1920s, there was a famous Russian ballet dancer, Anna Pavlova, who was touring Australia and New Zealand. And apparently an Australian chef was so impressed with her that he has developed this for her. Well, New okay. Zealand is saying that it was actually a New Zealand chef that developed it, but who cares? This looks delicious yeah, and I'm sure it delicious. tastes delicious. Do you want to try? Yeah, let's dig in. What's it made out of? It's meringue with fresh berries and fruit. Right. You can't leave Australia without trying this. Cheers. Spoon cheers. <laughs> Spoon cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, this is really good. I like the creaminess and then also the meringue. I like the fact that it's not so well. sweet. It's very yeah, fresh. Yeah, good point. Whether it comes from Australia or New Zealand, it doesn't matter. It tastes mm -mm. great. Mm -mm. So good. Mm -hmm. Our last day in Perth has come to an end and I'm feeling a little bit sad, but also very happy for everything we have done. Yeah, and we've had a lot of fun while we've been here. You know, we've seen the quokkas, we've explored the city, and I got to play the didgeridoo for the mm -hmm. first time. What's your favorite instrument? Leave a comment below and the best comment can win this prize right here. Yes, it's a super cute travel pillow when you go and discover all the cool places we've been to. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Yeah, make sure you watch next episode. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.